Now, back in my day, when I was uh, building computers, that was 15 years ago, one of the greatest things that we we could have used is the triple uh, blade mechanical or triple disc uh, mechanical hard drives. They had SCSIs and all sorts of things. And you could configure those in RAID, RAID 0, RAID 1, or RAID 5. And that was really good, you know, having a hard drive running at RAID 0. Woo! The speeds of those uh, uh, hard drives was absolutely amazing. And we had uh, hard drives running at a speed of uh, 7,200. And if you use iSCSI, that was at 10,000. Uh, now, those were really, really expensive. I think they were about 150 pounds each uh, at the time uh, when I stopped using um, uh, hard drives or, or build computers. Then uh, then the SATA uh, interfaces came in and hard drives had SATA. And also you've, you had uh, SSD hard drives that came in and they just revolutionized uh, technology and the way you access data on your machine. Now, this is one of the hard drives that, um, you know, I, I, I used to use and it's oh, so heavy, man. It's, it's just, it's a mechanical hard drive. It's got a single disc in there, so it's not a, a triple blade. And of course, it's SATA uh, configuration, not the IDE. I'm not sure if you guys remember the IDE connectivity, the long ribbon that used to go in there. Uh, and there, I think it was PC133. But today we live in a modern era of technology and advancements and we have the M2, the M.2 SSD hard drives. So let's get rid of this. Still survived. That survived. We have the M2. The This is the one I got the for the uh, actual new machine that I'll be building. Again, another overkill of a... Uh, uh, SSD hard drive. Now this is the Pro, the 97 Pro, made by Samsung. It's supposed to be one of the best ones. This is so expensive. You could buy a graphics card that will cost the same price as this. This is roughly about 300 pounds. I'm going to leave a link to this product below in the description. Have a look at that. Um, but this is absolutely amazing. Now this is one of the best SSD hard drives out there. I've got, I'm going to put two of those in this new machine that I'm building. Um, now, obviously, it comes in a nice, okayish packaging. Um, you have your... Almost broke that. Let's have a look. Okay. So, you have the instructions right here. Warranty card. And also, you get, um, I think, a code for, for, you know, there's a tool where you could recover data if you lose them as well as the instructions to install the, I forgot what the software called, there's a Samsung application where you could uh, install in your machine and um, update the firmware of the actual SSD. It's called the Samsung Magician. Took a while for me to um, actually see, find that. But I have got Samsung Magician installed on one of the machines uh, that is running the normal 850 EVO uh, SSD. Uh, this is a decent SSD actually. It's quite really fast. It made a huge improvement to a five-year-old computer. So that was really amazing. But with these ones, these are supposed to be much faster. And this is it. This costs 300 pounds. Can you imagine? Crazy. Obviously, you got the details in there. It comes with five years warranty and the speeds are phenomenal. It's absolutely stunning. This is a one terabyte version, of course. I'm going to be using this as well, the uh, the Evo version as a backup, one terabyte. This is also uh, made by Samsung, and there's a huge difference between these two. This is 120 pounds, and this is almost 300 pounds. So the difference is huge. But this is going to be where I'm going to be storing all the you know data that we just see in there idle. So it's just a proper waste of absolute everything that this can do, because this is faster than this. The normal SSD, and that's just going to be doing nothing. So I know it's going to probably be a waste, but why not? Why not? But this will be where the Windows uh, will be running and doing a lot of other things there as well. I will be leaving a link to the product in the description below. Have a look, see if you what you think. If you're running these, if, what crazy things are you doing? Let me know in the comment section below. If you're doing anything serious with these uh, storages, for me. Like I said, one of them is going to be Windows, one of them is going to be just a cold storage where I just could back up stuff in. 
and um, hopefully the, I'll see, notice some performance differences in terms of um, how they run and my old machine that I'm using. Now I do have a laptop that does have an M2 uh, um, SSD hard drive in there and that's pretty fast. It, Windows boot is normally roughly about 5 to 10 seconds depending on on the day. It's quite fast. It's still running in a uh, Samsung uh, SSD, but it's made by Dell. I don't know what what version it is. Um, doesn't say on the on the description or doesn't say on the uh, on CPUs. It doesn't also show doesn't show what it is. I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Please leave a comment in the section below, and I hope to see you in the next video. Take it easy, guys.